Okay, first question right off the bat. Why high intensity interval training instead of steady state cardio? And the reason for that is simple. I'm not trying to look like an endurance athlete. And have you watched the Olympics? Even the sprinter that comes in dead last is still lean and muscular. That's the look I'm going for. What I found is that high intensity interval training is also perfect for use with the elevation training mass rather than steady state cardio. And the reason for that are the rest intervals. I remember the first time I tried this workout with the red nose piece. That's the one with only one hole in the mask. I thought I was going to fall over and die. The sprint actually creates an oxygen deficit. And the real work with the training mass, in my opinion, comes during the walk back to the start to get ready for the next interval. This is when your muscles that control breathing are working overtime. And to me, it's, it's like weight training for the muscles that actually control breathing. As a direct result of me sprinting with the elevation training mask on, it takes an awful lot to get me winded now. Um, and this is basically the only cardio I do other than uh, 10 minutes of a jump rope for warm up for my weight sessions. And I can tell you that I can do my jump rope for 10 minutes now and not even be breathing hard at the end of it. I've got to warn you right up front that this is some uncomfortable training. Um, you really need to get into this slowly. I mean, even without the mask, the sprinting, uh, I wouldn't push it past 90%. Otherwise, you're, you're opening yourself up for injury. And then with the training mask, it really takes some getting used to uh, the uncomfortable feeling of not having enough oxygen. The other thing that I had to get used to was the mask collapsing in on my face when I wear the red nose piece from uh, sucking in so hard. And uh, it, uh, that, along with the sweat, makes it very difficult to see. So that's another reason why you know, the steady state cardio just, I don't think, would be a good idea because uh, it, it does uh, restrict your vision. If you can get used to all that, I think you're going to love what this training mask and this sprint program will do for you. I tend to sweat a lot, so the mask is uh, soaking wet when I get finished with this workout. So what I did is I bought a uh, box, a bottle of Glass Plus multi-surface cleaning wipes from Walmart. I don't know, two bucks, something like that. And I'm sure to wipe it down completely, inside and outside, before I put it away after each workout. Highly recommend that, otherwise this thing's going to get funky real quick. I've been doing this workout with the Elevation Training Mask now for about six months, since the weather's been nice. And I, I do it about three times a week, as, as long as there's not a thunderstorm. You know, rain, no problem, but thunder, hey, I'm not playing with that. And that six months time, I've had no problems with it. Um, it pretty much does what they say that it will do. So uh, I would definitely place it on my recommended list, and I give it two thumbs up. So I'm pretty sure that I'll be keeping this one in my bag of tricks for quite some time. All right, let me know what you think. And I'll be taking mine all the way back to Pittsburgh.